about to show you how I move it, though. You get the memo. <laughs> I say, ooh, ooh. Switch it up and watch they say They don't like my style, they say I'm different, I'm too red Put my all up in the song to show you that I care I'ma call your phone and I'm like, baby, do you care? I'll feel the energy that you give me If you hear my pain, would you still listen to me? Diamonds, they gon' dance and they still listen on me She gon' call my phone and I'm like, I don't feel your energy I'm always gon' think about the thing that you did to me Every time I see Yo, it's your boy Smokers YT, a.k.a. Silkman, a.k.a. Milkman We back with another video today we're doing Lil Jordan Humphrey versus Emmanuel Butler uh school I got you bro I got you I'm gonna make that interior line video that's a good video that's a good video Caleb Jackson that's Chauncey Gardner Johnson versus uh Michael Jenkins I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that ready and uh who else Dex I believe you said Janoris Jenkins versus DJ Swearinger I will gladly do that, you know. Uh, but yo, let's get on to this video. But Scoob, that was a. All right, yo, we got you. Literally in the last video, Brian and Tyree Gray requested a little Jordan Humphrey versus Emmanuel Butler video, so I'm gonna get that to y'all. Shout out to y'all. But today we will not only be comparing them, we will be checking them by skill, route running. Speed, straight. You know what I mean. I watched film on them this weekend. You know I'm watching. I watched their film on college, and not in the NFL. I mean, cause they barely got any tick, especially Emmanuel Butler. He barely got any playing time this season. Didn't even get caught up to the active roster, but based on college, you know. So uh, let's get right into this video. Request a video if you want to. Uh, versus video. But uh, comment down below if you want to. But um. Get right into the video. Sure. Okay, now we're starting off with Lord Jordan Humphrey. He's 22, he's 6'4, 225. He ran a 465 at the combine. You know, all great, not all great receivers were a 4'2 or nothing, you know. But the only reason why he dropped down in the draft was because of his combine, you know. That's the only reason why he went undrafted. Uh when your experience, uh, he went to Texas, you know. And then let's go to uh, Emmanuel Butler, 23 6 for 3, 220. He ran a 4 6 5, nearly identical to Lord Jordan Humphrey. And his combine wasn't really that great, which is one of the reasons why he got undrafted. And I really hate to say this. I really hate to say this because he was playing lower competition at Northern Arizona. Ah, I hate to say that, bro. I really hate to say that. But uh, let's go into this. Like what I recently just said about Emmanuel Butler, I mean, it's hard to compare him, you know, because he played in a small school, you know, it's really hard to compare him to, you know, and I really hate to say that he didn't play competition, you know, there's a lot of great receivers who went to small colleges, end up being great, like another great Marquis Collison, the person I'm about to compare him to, he went to Hofstra College University, bro. In the CAA conference, bro, like, who would have known, like, for real, like, like, that's probably the closest person I could compare Emmanuel Butler to, even Sean Payton says that that's the closest he's seen to uh, Marquis Collison, and, uh, yeah, bro, y'all can tell me down in the, the comments, bro, but, like, bro, I really hate the phrase, lower competition, you know, that's why the, the, everybody gives him the nod, like, oh, uh, no, nah. the only reason why he's doing good, like, really, I don't I really don't like that. But, uh, let's get on to Little Jordan Humphrey. Now, Little Jordan Humphrey is a really hard player to compare to. Like, really. Like, he's really that hard to compare to. So, I took some time to see some couple players, his size, his frame. And the person I compared him to is Kelvin Benjamin. Now, we're not talking about the Bills. Not before he, he ate up the whole league. We are talking about Panthers rookie year. Calvin Benjamin, you know, Texas, they like they literally ran the same type of routes, you know, 
But uh, yeah, I don't really know that. You, I can't really find a comparison. Y'all can tell me down below. I really cannot find a comparison to, to Logan Jordan and Humphrey. But uh, let's get on to the next topic. Okay, now the physical attributes. We're going by have size, route running, athleticism, hands, blocking, and versatility. So first, you start with the size. Little Jerry Humphrey, 6'4", I believe, 225. The man is a big guy. He's a very big guy. And then you got Emmanuel Butler, 6'3 and a half. I believe he was like 215. He is chiseled, you know, he's chiseled. But uh, size, I'm going to give that one to Little Jordan Humphrey automatically. Now let's go to the route running. Now the route running. Emmanuel Butler is a way more superior route runner than Little Jordan Humphrey. He has separation problems, but he's way more, way, way better. But Little Jordan Humphrey, he has improved on his route running, but I feel like Emmanuel Butler has more explosiveness and route running better than him. But so I'm gonna I'm give that to Little Jordan Humphrey. But Little Jordan Humphrey is improving. Now let's go to the athleticism and speed. Now. Little Jordan Humphrey is not the most athletic guy, but don't he, don't let that fool you. The, the man can jump. The man can jump. But is he more athletic than Emmanuel Butler? It's kind of hard. Like it's really kind of hard, you know. They both like really like the speed. I believe Emmanuel Butler is more faster. Though. But uh, I'm gonna kind of give Emmanuel Butler the edge over this one. Little Jordan Humphrey. Now let's go to the hands. I'm gonna go off for preseason. Emmanuel Butler was dropping some passes, you know. Lord Jordan Humphrey was catching damn near every pass he got. Like, every target he got. Like, I believe Emmanuel Butler did drop some passes in the preseason. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to give that one to Lord Jordan Humphrey. Then we're going on the blocking. We already know Lord Jordan Humphrey is a, a very good blocker in this league. So let's go on to versatility. Now, versatility... Little Jordan Humphrey is the more versatile player than Emmanuel Butler. Once upon a time, Little Jordan Humphrey, before he went to Texas, he played running back in high school, <laughs> for real. And in Texas, he played slot receiver. And that's a position of need. Austin Carr, he can play the slot position, but he's a visible man. The man shows up once in the blue moon. <laughs> so, Little Jordan Humphrey did some kick returns, too. And he's a slot player. So... I'm going to give that one to Lord Jordan Humphrey. Y'all can comment down below. Now, this is where y'all come in. Who is better, Emmanuel Butler or Little Jordan Humphrey? Just comment down below. I'm going to let the bros talk, you know? I'm going to let y'all talk. But, uh, yeah. Request some videos. Request some versus videos, you know? But it's been your boy, Swiss YT, and we out here. Cheers. Hey, my mama raised a soldier. I ain't had shit. Yeah, I'm going past it. I'm a part of the madness. Have you niggas hook? You know I'm spitting that crack, bitch. Red dot beam, have you disappearing like magic? My mama raised a soldier. Why? I ain't had shit. Yeah, I'm going past it. I'm a part of the madness. Have you niggas hook? You know I'm spitting that crack, bitch. Red dot beam.